Here are two Force Performance 82 HDA turbos that I had to do rebuilds for. This one on the left just needed like a seal kit and so that was just a basic rebuild. The one on the right I had to replace it with a GT35R compressor wheel which required me to machine the original compressor housing. If the compressor wheel gets damaged on the 82 HTA, the only way to really repair it is to send it back to force performance. But for people that don't want to spend that much money to have their turbo rebuilt, they could always rebuild it themselves or have us rebuild it and machine the compressor housing for the GT35R compressor wheel or the GTX35A2R compressor wheel. That's really the only way to fix the 82 HTA if the compressor wheel does develop some damage. I also like to machine the seal plate for a KO4 compressor housing o-ring so that the compressor housing will seal against the plate. These never came with a compressor housing o-ring between the seal plate and housing. They came like that from Garrett and from Force Performance without the seal. So I like to go back and put a seal there just so I can ensure that they won't have any problems. Both of these turbos have a .63 AR turbine housing but it can be changed out with a .82 and a 1.06 T3 turbine housing. There's also some T4 options out there, but they're kind of rare. But the turbine housing difference can make an extra 100 horsepower difference depending on which turbine housing you choose to run. Usually the .63 is good for about 600 to 650 horsepower. But once you go to a 1.06, well, I had one guy make up to 926 horsepower on the 1.06, but he did have a T67 compressor wheel. The 82 HTA takes the same rebuild kit as a GT35R. This is yet another turbo that we can do a rebuild for. So if you have one that is pretty destroyed, even if it needs a cartridge, we can still build a new cartridge for it and repair this turbo.